Let's look at depreciation in SAP Asset Accounting. There are three direct types of depreciation. One, ordinary depreciation. Two, special depreciation. And three, unplanned depreciation. The ordinary depreciation method is the most commonly used method. That of course your planned reduction of asset value for wear and tear, you'll be doing a depreciation. We saw in our asset master data, you mentioned the depreciation key and the useful life. Based on the depreciation key and the useful life, every month a depreciation amount will get posted. The special depreciation is purely from a taxation point of view for wear and tear. Depending on some certain countries or as per your company policies, you can specify a percentage for wear and tear and rest of it you have to have some value, which means you cannot depreciate the balance portion. Only a certain portion only you can depreciate. This of course is not very uh, commonly used and uh, most of the time we will be using the ordinary depreciation. The third example is the unplanned depreciation. Again this is very rarely done. For example, you might have a damage to an asset and you can no longer use it anymore. So then you have to unplan do this unplanned depreciation where you are going to fully depreciate the balance amount. Of course you can always do the scrapping of the asset transaction. So once again this transaction is also not uh, usually performed. In terms of our purpose for this presentation, we will be using mostly the ordinary depreciation method. Let's look at the depreciation key and how the calculation methods are. Now we saw how to define your own depreciation key earlier in one of our configurations. Depreciation key is what actually controls the depreciation rate and based on their useful life, it likely depreciate, ports the depreciating amount every year and also every month. So there are different type of method. There is the base method, declining balance method, maximum amount method, multi-level methods and period control methods. They're just telling you all the different type of methods. You do not have to know in detail how these methods are functioning. So let's how to execute the depreciation run. The trans short transition code is AFAB. So all you have to do is enter your company code, the fiscal year and the posting period and you can perform the depreciation run. Depression run always has to be run in the background. Only to do the test run only you can run it in the foreground to see if there are any errors. But other than that you always have to do a depression run in the background. And you must also post a depreciation in the for the periods in order. For example, you must post for posting period 1 before you proceed to posting period 2. So similarly you have to go in the order for each fiscal year. You must post the depreciation in order for each period. And let's say you have made a mistake and you want to rerun the depreciation, you can always select repeat depreciation run and run the repeat transaction as well. This is the option to do the unplanned posting run, that is for unplanned depreciation. But majority of the time we will be running the planned posting run depreciation. And when you run the depreciation, you will get the information regarding the asset number, the asset class, the description, how much the planned amount, how much the amount depreciation amount has been posted for a particular period and so on and the method of depreciation which is usually the ordinary depreciation. Now let's look at actually running some depreciation for the assets you have created in your company code. Now let's look at executing the depreciation run transaction. As you know every month you have to execute the depreciation run because from the fixed asset the depreciation amount should get posted to the relevant objects. For example the cost centers. So let's run the depreciation run the transaction SAP menu path is accounting financial like AB that's a short transaction code. So let's execute the transaction. So enter the company code Z123, enter the fiscal year and the posting period. Now very important depreciation run you have to do it in order that means you must do it for the first posting period before you go and do to the second posting period. So if you have already done the first one last month then you can do the second posting period this month and so on then third then fourth it has to be in order because logically also you need to post depreciation also in order because every month you need to post depreciation so you can't just skip January's depreciation and just go on to February's depreciation without posting January's one. So that's what you have to do so post it in order so we have selected that and it's always planned posting run you can always repeat that run if you want but ensure that the posting periods are not closed if it's not closed you can always do a repeat. Other than that, you don't have to do any other settings over here. And for test run, you can actually list the assets to see how the 